Si Pinoy ho, si President Noy, nagsalita na ho siya na I think it seems to be na parang disidido ho siya mag-attend ho ng Senate inquiry. Sabi niya ho, and I quote, We want to participate in telling the truth to the people, as we have always done, and at the same time observing compliance to various laws, rules, and tradition. Well, ako ho, kung ganito ang situation na medyo ma-invite ho nila yung former president, si President Noy, dito ho sa issue ho ng Dengbaksha, sa Senate hearing, well and good. Kasi ang gusto ho mangyari ng Senate Chairman ho ng Blue Ribbon Committee, si Richard Gordon, siya ho yung gusto niya makita ho yung sino ho ban dapat managot. Yung culpability. Kanino ho kasalanan to? Alam niyo ho kasi ang presidente, busy ho yan. Pero may mga advisor din yan. Meron ho mga consultant pagdating ho sa mga matters and health issues, economy, security. Kaya nga ho may cabinet eh. Kaya nga ho eh hindi naman pwedeng isang presidente magdedesisyon lang sa sarili niya without the, uh, the assistance or advice na mga advisors niya. During those times na kainita ho, kasagsagan ho nitong Deng Baksha vaccine ho na itong anti-dengue a eh, uh, vaccine ho sinasabi ho natin dito na mainit na ho ngayon. Kahapon ho kasi na-interview natin si Richard Gordon, sabi niya ho, eh Ben, importante rito yung culpability. Sino may kasalanan dito at kinakain ang panagutin? Sad to say, sabi ho ni, uh, ni Senator Gordon, uh, from the beginning, lahat na involved, even si former Health Secretary Paulino Bial, baka masabit, panahon na ho to ni President Digong. Uh, baka masabit siya kung hindi siya magsasalita. E eh, nagsasalita ako si, you know, eh, si, si Pauline Obial nung siya parang undersecretary pa ni Janet Garin na kumukontra ho siya dahil hindi pa proven and tested yung dengvax siya. Kaya lang dito ho, ano pang sasabihin nitong si Obial na ngayon ay eh, hindi na ho siya secretary eh, dahil itinuloy ho eh. Tumuloy pa rin sa termino ni Ubial, although may hesitation na siya noon, may mga sinabi na ho siya Senate hearing na eh, in-advise niya, naniniwala siya na hindi pa proven and tested. Of course, may side effect ho yung anti-dengue vaccine yan. And uh, isa siya sa mga komontra. Kaya lang, ang tanong ni Richard Gordon, ay eh, bakit sa termino mo, ipinagpatuloy mo, pero pagdating ho kay uh, eh, toy Francisco Duque, the current secretary, ipinatigil ho eh. It's because naglabas na ho ng uh, siguro naging transparent ho ang uh, Sanofi to say the least na there's a side effect na nalaman lang ho nila na para doon sa mga hindi pala nabakunahan abay binakunahan mo doon ho yung epekto. Ngayon sabi ho ni, ni Richard Gordon ay pagkatapos itaas mo ay itinaas mo ay itaas mo kay Secretary Garin And then to DBM, from Secretary Garin to DBM, and then to the President, may ugnayan. So, anong ibig sabihin huri to? Sabi huna tayong kahapon, political decision, political action, carefully crafted, carefully executed across the board, indiscriminate inoculation. Ho, na wala naman hong that time full blown dengue epidemic, endemic lang ho in some areas. Kaya lang ho, ginamit ho ang laking pondo, yun ho pinagkakatakahan na ho ng, 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 ni Richard Gordon. Pareho ho kami sa tingin, ho ho's barred, ang dating ho sa akin, eh, is this some kind of an accomplishment na gusto lang uh, masama sa plataforma nila? Or as early as 2014, napag-usapan ho to. Kaya lang 2014, iba ho yung vaccine na gusto ho ni Ona. And that's Try Rx Try Act na ngayon lumalabas na ho sa media na mas safe daw yun kasi herbal-based ho yun eh. Kaya lang pumasok na ho rin yung pharmaceutical firm uh, from uh, dito ho, sabi ho natin, uh, from Sanofi, na ang nag-distribute ho rito ay eh, Zwilig. Ngayon, mga boss, sabi ho ni Garin, everything is above board. But then again, kung above board yan, eh, hindi ho dumaan sa GAA. GAA is General Appropriations Act na pinag-uusapan ho, deliberation of a budget in the middle of the year, which will be decided for the next year ho sana, 2015 to 2016. Hindi ho napasama, it was only discussed at the last quarter ho ng um, last year, 2016, and then implemented quickly, elegantly, and swiftly. It was done on uh, mga April na ho. And then, it was only like weeks 
before the election. So, midnight, kung ta- no, ma- maituturing na ho, midnight deal na ho yan. Yun ho ang gustong sabihin ng uh, Richard Gordon kasi parang it is a political decision, political action, carefully crafted, carefully planned, executed. Of course, talagang yung motive doon is something that we have to find out Alam ba nilang ginagawa nila or talagang, was it for money? Or was it really for the good of the, the greater population back then? Eh, bakit ho kasi hindi nalang ginawang institutional deal by the Department of Health through DBM? Pag tagtingnan nyo, si Garin ho, siya ho'y uh, inilagay ho secretary back then. Yung hong uh, secretary general ho ng uh, Liberal Party back then, si DBM secretary Florencio Abad, ay liberal ho yan, and then liberal president. Kaya tinitingnan ho ni Richard Gordon dito at yung mag investiga Since ako nagsasabi dito, it's a political decision and a political action carefully crafted. And therefore, anything that goes wrong, well, somebody has to be accountable. Sino ho yan? Yun hong ibig sabihin. Yung culpabil- legal culpability, a legal uh, accountability, Eh, hindi na ho mahalaga kahit na i-refund yung sinasabing 32 billion, 32 uh, or 3.5 billion pesos because yung effect ho hindi maganda eh. Let's just hope and pray na wala ho sana mga pinsala, mga bata, ba? sana ho in the next weeks and months ahead na hindi na ho if deadly yung effect nung sinasabi ho natin. The, ito ho yung epekto ho na nagkakasakit, na namamatay ho, marami hong iba dyan. So, binabantayin ho ngayon Department of Health. Yung, yung surveillance and monitoring, particular doon sa area na kung saan, mar, nagkaroon ho ng massive inoculation ng Dengbaksha. That's all for now. Okay, Asian number. Change topic! Alright, dito ho sa parting ito, mainit pa rin ho mga opposition. As far as yung kanilang opposition, I mean, they're, op- they're, they're in the opposition, true to the, uh, their, the, the, the principle, they're supposed to oppose. Kaya nga, may check and balance. But the question really is, alam niyo itong martial law, in principle, pag tinignan ho in general, hindi ho maganda. Kaya lang ho, ano ho gagawin mo kapag medyo, yung, kapag yung ho mga taga Mindanao, doon ho sa mga rehiyon at mga probinsya at munisipyo, Sila ho'y sang-ayon kasama yung kanila mga senator sa Mindanao like Senator Pacquiao, Senator Dementel and the rest of the other local government doon sa Mindanao na alam ho nila kapag there will be another Marawi crisis na ngayon may mga recruitment kaya parang gusto nila extend for another year. Ang nakakatawa ho rito, ano, ang nag post mga liberal. <laughs> you know, bago kayo mag post tingnan nyo muna yung bantot ng Dengbaksha. Pangalawa, instead of looking at the, the, you know, you keep on looking at the backyard of others. Why don't you look at the backyard, your own backyard? Like, like for instance, sa Bicol and uh, Anjan Sileni, ikaw, uh, Ed Zalagman. You look at your backyard muna. Ano bang problema ninyo? May mga insurgency problem kayo dyan. Hotbed ka ng NPA. Ba't nyo pinakikialaman ng Mindanao? Ang layo-layo na. Sila naman doon, hotbed sila ng mga, eto ho'y mga... <laughs> Marami ho roon eh, kinakailangan ka, para sa kanila, naniniwala ho sila, nandoon ho yung mga, ay, mga MILF, nandoon yung mga, ay, mga sabihin natin, ay, yung mga nakita nyo, nangyari sa Marawi, ayaw nalang ma- maulit yun. Kaya gusto lang another year, eh kinikustiyon ho, Bara, barang kinokustiyon, kinokontra pa. <laughs> Whatever it is, kapag kontra ninyo, might as well tingnan nyo na lang sa ibang bal- parang gusto ko nilang sabihin kami ang defender ninyo kami ang taga uh, kumbaga taga balance na ang martially masama well, paano pag yung mga tao mismo hinihiling yan Vice President Lenny, ikaw naman ang salagman paano pag sinabi ng mga tao sa Mindanao at yung mga, mga politiko roon tumingin ka muna sa basura nyo sa loob ng inyong bakuran bakit ka tumitingin sa mga bakuran namin na wala namang kaming basura Naglilinis kami rito, kayo maraming basura, kahirapan, politika, hotbed kayo ng mga rebel, mga dissident, NPA. Hindi ba? May nagagawa ba kayo? O hindi ba? Bago ka magsalita, tumingin muna ka sa basura ninyo or sa bakura ninyo para naman maayos yan. Okay, change topic! Well, uh, tingnan ho natin to. Well, well segue ho tayo. Mga boss, 
Pag sinabi ho natin millennial, it begins from, the, from, uh, from 16 years old all the way to 35 years old. 20 years. 16 to 25. 26 to 35. But there's a next generation hoy. From those who were born in 2000 and even those who weren't even born yet, the next generation who yan until the age of 14. So nakita niyo ba? It's coming in. Yun hong generation X are the 36 to 55. Another, another 20 years old. So, uh, tingnan niyo na lang ho kung saan ho kayo, you, where, where you belong. And then the 56 all the way to 75, yun hong mga baby boomers. And then the 75 all the way to RIP. Oh, kung, kung nabubuhay pa sila, rest in peace. <laughs> well, uh, they're, they're lucky because they wake up in the morning and they see sunlight and they can feel the, the breeze and they're still waking up, there's light. Kung talagang total darkness, you have to wait until the judgment come. Oh, okay, anyway, hindi yung topic natin. Let's put it this way. We take care of the generation ho ng millennial, if the Department of Health and then the Department of Education is listening. The lifestyle ng mga millennial, particular ho yung mga nagtatrabaho na sa mga health centers, ito ho sa mga uh, call centers. Sila ho yung bantayan ho natin. There's such thing as metabolic syndrome diseases. Ito ho yung blood, blood pressure, blood sugar, heart, kidney diseases, and anything related ho dyan. Ano ho yan? Lifestyle ho yan eh. Kung ang Department of Health natin titingnan na ho yung program na ihanda ang massive information campaign as well as sa uh, pakikipagtulungan ng Department of Education to take care of the next generation and the generation coming in such as yung sinasabi ho natin, the next gen. The next gen na yung 14 years old pababa. They're the next gen. Ito hum the first batch ho ng uh, millennial from 17 to 25. Okay, from 15 to 16. Okay, but na nakikita from 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 I'm sorry, from 15 to 26. Ito ho yung first batch in 20 uh, 25 uh, to 26 to 35, another batch ho yan eh. Baka masira ho to, baka will end up a lot of our kids, a lot of these uh, mga nagtatrabaho nga and starting up their career. Baka five years ho niyan, down the road, ang dami na ho sakit. Kaya dapat tingnan ho, ano? Check yung ho nakikita nyo, parang pugon ho o manigaril yung mga... Pag, kung saan ho nakikita nyo yung mga gusali na malalaki, dahil doon ho yung mga call centers, nakikita nyo, nagkukumpul-kumpulan yung mga fast food, yung mga other joints doon, mga painuman, restaurant na hindi naman talagang... <laughs> hindi naman tal pagka, talagang mga everything is all about, you, you know, mga fast food. Ito ho yung problema eh. Sigarilyo, puyat, abuso sa katawan, uh, yan mga HIV na yan, <laughs> Mariosep. Kaya ako ho, kung kayo ho'y magulang, eh, maganda ho siguro, maganda ho siguro nasasabihan niyo mga anak niyo nagtatrabaho sa call centers. Kung kayo ho nakikinig, na remind, kung maari ho, padalhan niyo na lang ho ng baon. Wag na ho bumili ng mga, eh, sus, mga quick noodles, mga quick noodles, susunog ho yung mga kidney ho ninyo dyan. Tsaka puro mga matamis. Kaya nakita niyo, out of shape ho yung mga kabataan ho sa call centers. I'm sorry. You look at them, they look fat. And I'm sure, I'm not, just what else can I say? And, and then they're bulgy mga stomach ho nila, parang may mga, mga, mga extra weight ho sila sa mga tagiliran ho nila. That's the thing. Wala na hong exercise, puyat, abuso sa katawan. And iba dyan, so mapapabilang pa sa HIV. Dito na ho, kikilatisin ho natin, ano? <laughs> Hihimayin ho natin, ang ginamit ho natin, huhubaran, hindi ho, huhubaran, as in huhubaran, stripped. <laughs> no! Kasama na ho natin sa studio, iba ho to, ano? Kahit saan sila pumunta, eh talagang yung mga kabataan nagsisigawan, euphoric kung dating, historical. And then, uh, where there's some mall, may mga mall tours ho sila, ganun din ho sa mga skwalahan. Sila ho yung mga classic millennial. Kaya lang clean living ho sila eh. Hindi ho typical ng mga millennial. And they're siguro ho doon sa pagpapalaki. Now, introducing Jesse and Christian Perkins, that are known as the Perkins Twins. Hello, oh. everyone. Hello. Magandang umaga po. Sa okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Hello, sir. And you are? I'm Jesse. You're Jesse and, and you're Christian. Christian. Hello. 
Uh, okay. Malimit ba rin ang pagkakamali ang kuminsan? Uh, yeah, actually, pero it's funny kasi minsan may mga tao na they think we're identical twins. Okay. Pero I don't know, we look kind of different, pero we're fraternal twins. So, okay. ibig sabihin, hindi uh, uh, masyadong kamuka yung muka. So, okay. Yeah. Alright. So, sino sa inyo may girlfriend? Uh, wala. <laughs> actually, yeah, both of us, we don't have... A girlfriend. Actually, since birth, we haven't had a girlfriend. So, oh, yeah, we're single, That's and uh, I don't know. Parang it's not that we're against like relationships, but when we were young, our parents okay. told us that if we want to be successful in life, if we want to follow the things that we want to do, uh, then that but we should focus talaga on those things. So they said, don't be in a relationship muna habang you're still young. Okay. Uh, since when you're still studying, wag muna. So that's also another thing we're trying to uh, promote or encourage the young people to just focus on the things that really matter in life, the things that are really important. Okay. Ganun. Yeah. yeah. Well, what about you? You're, you're a good Christian. Yes. All I'm right. single too. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we're just, like my brother said, we're just trying to prioritize what's important. Uh, and those other things can come. Do you have any, what do you have in your radar screen? Any 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 particular age or particular age? Example, tatagalog na tayo, no? Okay. Anong idad na kinakailangan kayo allowed na magkaroon ng girlfriend? Ah, uh, actually, it's funny because, siempre when we were younger, our our parents kind of they told us pretty strictly na dapat walang girlfriend talaga. Pero siempre as we got older, um, mm -hmm. it kind of became more of a, a trust thing or even like. Um, they trusted us na we would be mature enough to know when um, the right time would be. Okay. So, right, ngayon we're not even looking for anything. So, if, if God brings someone along to us, Shemper will uh, we'll wait for those things. But we're not looking them on. And, uh, yeah, yeah it's, I think someone was joking the other day with an interview mm -hmm. with you guys. And they mm -hmm. said, um, if, you get, if the only time you have a girlfriend is 75 years old, will oh, you take okay. it? And we're like, uh, oh, I don't know. Sana it's not that long. But uh, yeah. better we're, we're allowed them on. It's just... We're just waiting for uh, God's best time for us. Yeah. All right. So more or less, uh, anong pinagkakabalahan you most of the time? Uh, 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 like, 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 you wake up in the morning, what do you do? Uh, the first thing that you do in the morning. First thing we do in the morning yeah. is... Uh, well, you jump we, out of bed, what do you do? Yeah, right. well, as much as possible, we try to spend time with... Uh, my brother and I are, are strong uh, Christians, so we right. try to spend our, our mornings just uh, praying or spending time reading the Bible. Because um, that's that's the best way to start the day for us. So, and then after that, we try to we try to get some breakfast, and we have a a busy schedule, but um, we just try to do those simple things, just to um, even fix our bed, stuff like All that, right. making sure the house is okay. Bago we go out, so. You go yeah. Christian, be no bully, go Jesse. Yes, no, sure. Well, he's nice. Uh, we're, we're both nice. We're really close. So there were times na kayo bro, uh, twins, you know, nagaaway ba kayo or something, or disagreement or whatever. Or how do you handle it? Yeah, Papano? I mean, Shepard made disagreements sometimes, means then. Pero for the most part, like my brother said, we're really close, so it's cool. Because we we always do the same things together. We have the mm -hmm. same interests. All right. And then I guess uh, sometimes. It's just a, a little bit of disagreements, but never anything. Really like small stuff. Yeah. Like main disagreement, it's over usually within like five minutes. Yeah. Cause All right. Yeah, and, and we, we do, my brother and I, we don't like to like argue with people or All get right. into hassles. Yeah. So, so if, Lalo, if it's my brother, yeah. so we, we try to resolve it right away. Quickly, yeah. San Diego Elementary, high school, and then you finish your college work. Uh, we studied elementary and high school so states. In, okay. Uh, the first one's Lanch, Las Lomitas mm. uh, Elementary School, La, mm. Lanchada mm. Uh, Middle School, and, and then Menlo Atherton high school. high school. Okay. These are all public schools in the states. Okay. And then and we were uh, supposed to go to UC Berkeley okay. in uh, California. All right. Better we moved here. Okay. And now we're, uh, we're here. Yeah, right. now we're studying here. We're in oh. Mint College. Okay. So, um, so yeah, talk to us about your mall tour, Nino. What is this? I mean, uh, you're, uh, you're SM Youth Ambassador for Music? Yes. Actually, um, yeah, that was, that's pretty cool. That was Medjo recently, Yon, but we were blessed to uh, um, start working with um, SM Youth. And it's, mm -hmm. it's cool for us to say SM Youth is, it's, Right there, it says SM Youth, and that's kind of what we're talking about here, the, the next generation, mm -hmm. so stuff like that. And my brother and I, we, our whole thing is about, and we, we visit schools, we um, try to reach out to young people. Mm -hmm. So when we tied up with SM Youth, parang, parang super baga yung, yung tie up. Mm -hmm. uh, so yeah, we are, it's, it's an apparel company, okay. so we, we go there and uh, we work with music. So my brother and I are musicians, so we're mm -hmm. like the music section of SM Youth. 
Okay, yeah. and, and, and what about the school? I, I've noticed the school campus is uh, a <laughs> I don't know. Uh, what do you feel pag nakikita niyo parang hysterical na yung mga fans niyo? What do you do? Pag nakita niyo na kuminsan umiiyak na, they don't know exactly what, 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 what do you do? Paano nyo sila inaawat? Yung iba, uh, hinihimatay ba yung iba? Actually, yeah, we've had a okay. couple of those, but uh, Chevre, we we just want everyone to be safe. But it's it's always flattering for us, and it's uh, it we're always touched when we get we see the support, the okay. um, the love from all the fans. We love you guys. So whoever's watching this, by the way, hello. And uh, yeah, we we're just we're so touched. Cause I think, like I mentioned in the um, the video that you guys watched, uh, we're excited. Siyempre, if they're having fun with us, but mm -hmm. the more the more interesting thing and the more fun thing for mm -hmm. us is um, they're cheering, but they're they're also listening to what we have to say. So maybe they like us at first because of our music or mm -hmm. our performance. But after that, when they they really listen to what we have to say, the things we talk about, the no drugs, no smoking, mm -hmm. no drinking, no bullying, basically doing the right thing when you're still mm -hmm. young. Those are the things that um, are really special to us, and it, that's what really matters to us when these these young people are. Um, Influenced in a good way or inspired to to do good things, so that's that's what makes it really cool for us. Yeah, yeah, and for us, we we're we're happy when we get to see other people happy, and when we get to make people happy, and even it's even better. I say, it, I mean, you see in the videos and stuff, mm -hmm. uh, people are excited, they're really happy. But oh, when like my brother said, when we start speaking, we start giving our advocacies, they really listen, All right. uh, and they they really take it to heart from uh, our experiences. Yeah, so. and real quick, our our fans are called Perk Inspired. So mm -hmm. and that's that's really cool for us. I say that's mm -hmm. that's our really our goal, to, like, us, to mm -hmm. inspire um, as many people as we can. So um, yeah, hello, Perk Inspired out there. We love you guys and everyone else who's watching. Thank you for watching. And Sir Ben, first of all, thank you for uh, giving uh, hey, us the time. This is awesome. No problem. Now, let me ask another question, Nito. Um, is your mom and dad are, are they are they strict? What do they do? Have you ever been spanked? Oh, actually, I was scolded many times. To be honest, like five minutes before we came on the set, I got a little spanked. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. But uh, of course, when we were younger, yeah, we were not spared the rod, if you will. But uh, yeah, my my parents were were very uh, strict and they had a lot of discipline, but they were also really loving at the same time. So it's it's a really we were blessed by my my parents. They they um, let us grow up in a biblical way, a Christian way. So. Um, there was there was a lot of discipline for sure, but um, there was a lot of love there as, at the same time. They did the things they did to us because they loved us, Gano. So it was never like too much. And Champion, when you're young, you you think, oh, my parents are so strict, or um, they don't let me do this, they don't let okay. us go out. But oh, Champion, when we got older, then we realized like, oh, they really did that for us so that we can succeed in life. So yeah. okay, ibang iba kayo ano? Sa mga nanunood sa ating ngayon, hindi maintindihan yung lifestyle ninyo. A little, para sa kanila, para sa mga secular kids, you seem to have a strong faith. Don't you feel uneasy na parang iba ang tingin sa inyo? How do you connect doon sa mga hindi naman talaga, uh, sometimes agnostic? Uh, at your age, very seldom na makikita mo yung mga they, they talk about God. Do you, do you feel comfortable talking about God? Oh yeah. Do you uh, feel comfortable injecting that some message in some music? Yes. Yeah. It's I mean, for us, uh, our faith is really important to us. It's, I mean, we we do what I, we do what we do because of our faith. Because say, we want to spread love, spread love of God. But uh, we feel comfortable because we're not forcing anything to anyone. We're not like preaching to people. We're what we're trying to do is we're trying to uh, live by example, inspire mm -hmm. people, and say, hey, my brother and I, we're we're happy because through our faith. Uh, mm. Our faith inspires us, and hopefully we can inspire you guys. And if you want to, uh, I guess, see why we're so happy, that that's why we're so happy, because of our faith, why we're so fulfilled, why we're so, uh, I guess, uh, loved. It's because we're loved. We're, we love because he first loved, and that's why we're spreading love. So. Yeah, and we're, we're not here to, like, even judge anybody who live any different kinds of lifestyles. We're just trying to encourage na lang, uh, people to... Um, to do good things, because hey, my brother and I don't want to even like scare people too much. Better, we're just trying to tell people that make consequences, talaga. If you if you do bad things, mm -hmm. if you're yeah. if you get into trouble, there are oh. consequences. Baka oh, you yeah. think you're young and you can get away with it with anything, better. That's not really true, and okay. we're trying to switch yeah. that mindset. Our main message is to hopefully encourage and inspire people to do the right thing, and okay, that's uh, motivated by our faith, of course. So, yeah, we're just trying to spread love and 
spread so, uh, goodness. Um, let me ask you this: What do you, how do you how do you spend your weekend on a Saturday and Sunday? I mean, uh, what do you do? Just a regular kids like you? Yeah, we're some actually. Some kind, I don't yeah. not go on you. It's funny because hey, we're maybe you guys think we're really weird or something, but we're we're pretty normal guys, and we're right. we do all the normal stuff. We have fun, and we we like to hang out with our family, our friends, but. Um, yeah, even on the weekend. Actually, usually on the weekends we have we have like mall shows and stuff. But mm. if we're not having like a performance mm. or something, we we go out, we watch movies with our mm. family. We um, or we just stay at home. We just chill. We uh, yeah, it's we play music. Mm -hmm. We keep ourselves pretty busy. We don't want to get too idle or anything. Mm. But uh, we're we do all the things that other people would do. But uh, we just try to not uh, do the bad stuff. <laughs> yeah. Like okay. my brother said, we got usually we have shows on the weekend, so right. check your Facebook page if you want to yeah, check us out. But uh, we go exercise stuff like yeah. that. So sports. You know, also, we we work. Uh, we have a coffee shop, so my brother okay. and I we work there. Mm -hmm. And uh, like my brother said, we do, we try to keep busy as much as possible, but uh, we're productive. Pag nasa labas kayo travel, airport, terminals, or napagkakamalin ba kayo na artista or something or band or Tell us about it. Um, I don't know. Has that ever happened? What well, your question may, is? May, may lumalapit ba sa inyo? I mean, yeah. Somebody uh, say, hey, ikaw ba yun si ganito? Ikaw ba yun? Yeah. Oh. Actually, it's funny because it, when people recognize us, my brother and I, every time we're, we're, we're kind of still shocked. Like, we're like, oh, we're like, are you sure you, it's us? Or maybe you're mis mistaking us with some other twins or something like that. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, some it's, it's funny because it, that has been happening a little bit more recently, but I okay. think that's maybe because we've <laughs> been to so many schools already. All but right. yeah, sometimes we get people um, take pictures with us and say hello, mm -hmm. and that, that's and really we love cool it for when, us. when people uh, approach us outside. Uh, we always tell people not to be shy. Like I say we always like seeing people, uh, spending time with people. So we're always flattered when people recognize us. If yeah, whatever. and that's a funny thing too because mm -hmm. hey, if we go into a school, maybe a lot of people will know us or they uh, they say hello, and then when we go mm -hmm. out. That's when we have like a little bit of the free time because they, they're not as familiar with us. So mm. um, when we're walking around, um, and it, if, if for instance, it's, if there's like a big group of students in a mall or something, and then they come and like, oh, can I get a picture? Can I get a picture? And then all the ibang ibang tao, they're like, what? Who are these guys? Like, what's mm. going on? But yeah, it's it's fun for us. And we like my brother said, we love seeing people. So yeah. when uh, I don't know if uh, other people don't like being uh, have pictures or uh, like meeting people, but mm -hmm. my brother and I, we just. Whoever wants the picture, come on, or, yeah, yeah. So it's fun for us. Um, wh what about you, Christian? I know, um, he hates you, pictures. You seem to be a little reserved type. And, <laughs> uh, see, Jesse seems to be more of the alpha. I'm just I guess I don't, more guess of a dal dal. He's uh, my kuya, so he's, uh, okay. he's older, so. <laughs> okay. I'm going to do <laughs> most of the speaking, I guess. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. At home, I'm more... He's talkative. pretty makulit at home as well. So. Okay. We take turns. Bukas, he'll be the talkative one. So yeah. who's, the who, who's the mama's boy? The mama's boy. Actually, we were asked this question. Actually, both of us are, we, we don't have favorites or anything, but or my, my parents don't have favorites. But uh -huh. I Most think this is our answer. My brother looks like my mom. I'll be the mama's boy. I say I look like my mom. Uh -huh. And Christian looks like my dad. So Okay. So, okay. That's, so split up. <laughs> that's what we say. All right. Are you just saying that because your, your parents are out there watching you? They are here, yeah. Uh, they're, they're right there. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> okay. Um, so, pa, um, pag may nakikita kayo ng magandang babae, what do you feel? What do we feel? Oh, I just nakita niyo sa church or anything, and you saw somebody just walking, you know. The kind of walk, the <laughs> hair and style. Uh, <laughs> well, tell I me mean, about it. Tell me about it. I like you, you gotta tell yeah, me about it. unfiltered. A lot, of, a lot of beautiful girls in church. Yeah, that's and really everywhere, fun. actually, everywhere we go here, everyone, uh, lahat maganda dito sa Philippines. Oh, yeah, oh, that's oh, yeah, really yeah, why we yeah, moved yeah. back here. Come on, that's that's more of a PR. No, it's true. Yes, give me unfiltered. Okay. Unfiltered. What's your type? My type. You you tell me. Okay. Here, let me get my list. They're listening. No, I don't. We don't really have like a, watch uh, a type in terms of like uh, maybe physical traits, but uh, in terms of like uh, character, that's, okay. that's our, right. our type so, is so more kind, uh, God-fearing, humble. Shepherd, you have to be attracted to someone, but right. um, after that, you have to see what they're really about. So um, yeah, their character, they have, to be, um, they have to love Jesus more than they love us. Okay. So that's, those are the real requirements. Yeah. yeah. But to answer your question, if we see some, uh, a beautiful girl, of course, yeah. 
Um, yeah, actually, but like my brother said, all of our fans are the most beautiful yeah, girls. Yeah, it's fans, true. So. Our type is Filipina, so. Filipina. Yeah. Okay. Hello. So, give it a name. Give a name? Yeah, yeah. particular name. Particular name. Uh, you, you, you pick, uh, magugustuhan yung taga church thing. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I'll, I'll give a. Uh, you just said a, a while ago. It has to be, huh? There you go. First conspire. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so. Um, He's, he asked some tough questions here. Are you perspiring now? A little bit. <laughs> <laughs> you expect me to, to be kind to you? <laughs> <laughs> well, there are many things that I need to find out exactly. Uh, you're interested in guns? Nope. Did uh, you say yes or no? Uh, we like, we play video games with guns. With guns. So, yeah. You're interested in uh, physical sports? Yes. What kind Basketball, of sports? Basketball, tennis. My, my dad always wanted us to get into martial. I know you're really big yes. in martial arts, mm -hmm. so yeah. maybe we can train with you yeah. one day. All right. We we want to get into that one time, but um, right. yeah, we're really active. We love sports. So. All right. Okay. What about you, Christian? Yeah, uh, we do, like my brother said, sports, and it's, it's cool because we do sports together. So we play tennis. We do doubles on okay. basketball on the basketball court. We're always on the same team, and uh, we try to use that to our advantage. So. We just we like being active. We it's like more like a team, a team sport. Yeah. What about individual sport? Individual sport, not not really. Mostly, yeah, no, yeah. it's just more of team a team sports. sport. Yeah. Anong influence ng magulang yun sa inyo? I mean, not not on a fate <coughs> side. Uh, tell me something. You must have remember words that were, you know, probably said, and it stick to your mind. Like my, my when I was when I was a kid, your age. Every time na pag sinarmona na ako ng my father ko, I would listen. I get a wisdom from that. You know, and I would go to my room and then shut down everything that oh. my, my father would tell me. And then I would not feel bad. So I had those kind of like diary. He tell me. Wow, that's Papano, cool. Papano sa inyo. Man, I wish I, we'd done, done that too. But uh, Actually, I guess to answer that, uh, it's cool because my our mom is Filipina and our okay. dad is American. Okay. So. Um, growing up, it was kind of a parang best of both worlds because mm -hmm. my mom's from the province, from mm -hmm. the Philippines, um, and she's mas, mas conservative type. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then my dad's the American guy from California, surfer guy. So yeah. it's like uh, like the surfer bro with mm -hmm. the provincial mm -hmm. Filipina mm -hmm. uh, demure or anything. Mm -hmm. like, I don't know if the demure, I don't know what my mom wants me to say, say that. But uh, yeah, it was cool because um, there, there were a lot of things that influences in that mm -hmm. way. So, Shemper, we got the accent from my dad. Okay. We're, we're very California that way, but then like all the, the values and stuff like that from my mom. My dad too, but mm -hmm. um, just like the Filipino culture was always Good. there at the same time. Mm -hmm. So, um, that was really cool for us. But in terms of like something that I remember that they said, uh, I mean, aside from the, the faith, mm -hmm. like my, my, they always gave us Bible verses and mm -hmm. stuff like that. But yeah, the, I, I guess, also, my, my parents were business people as well, so we would always be around them when they were mm. in meetings or okay. talking to people. So um, we learned a lot from just like you, being around them and mm. just kind of listening. My brother and I like to listen a lot, so yeah. not, not do too much talking unless we're with you. <laughs> yeah, and then and when we were younger too, they would always tell us uh, to, to always work as hard. If we wanted to reach a goal, we had to work as hard as we could to get there. For, like, my one of our goals when we were growing up was to go to UC okay. Berkeley, mm -hmm. which is where we were supposed to go. That mm -hmm. was our favorite school because my dad went there and then he took us there when we were young. He told us, if you want to, if you want to go here, if you want to uh, get reach uh, these high things and you, you really need to work as hard as you can, do your best. And then in conjunction with that, like my brother said, uh, mm -hmm. we always got uh, biblical uh, words of wisdom from my parents. They always told us uh, in whatever we do, do okay. it for the glory of God. So that's, that's how we, uh, I guess. Speak any dialect? Yes. What kind of dialect? Ibanag. Hello, everyone in Tugegrao. Okay. In the well, north, well, well, Tugegrao well, well, Valley. What's up? Why don't you go ahead and tell them, you know. All right. Kunasik kamungamin. We're the Perkins twins. Uh, Mabalo. Mabalo. Ni kamungamin. Okay. I just said hello, everyone. We're the Perkins twins. Thank you all. Yeah. All right. And uh, <laughs> the last. This is... Uh, so, going back to the girlfriend thing. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Because I, I heard you one time. Okay. Uh, okay. Sino, pag may nagustuhan ka, nagugustuhan niya kaya? Oh. Pag na may natipuhan ka, I mean, just, just, you know, like infatuation. Not marrying, but, you know, pareho ba kayo ng taste? 
Actually, it, it's funny because I think we do have like, like similar like tastes. I guess I don't know if I'll say it like that, but uh, it's never really happened where we, we had we had a f fight over a girl. Cause hey, there's so many girls in the world, so. Oh, because you're always together, so sometimes you'll be, you know, a girl may just be coming to you and say, hey, I, and then all of a sudden, you're just fascinated and look at, look at this girl, so what do you feel? If that's exactly The rule the, is whoever the, sees... Oh, you got a rule! The, whoever <laughs> sees her first... Oh, okay. ...gets her. Yeah. All right. <laughs> I'm all just right. kidding. <laughs> but I, I don't know. We'll, Usually uh, if we'll it... find different girls. Yeah. Oh, okay. We, so, pl we plan to have different... I, I, I want you to give me some message about the the millennials who are working and just the lifestyle, especially those who are working in the call centers and they have different lifestyles, eating fast food, lack of sleep, sometimes, you know, smoking and drinking and involved in some, you know, sexual activities and end up having uh, HIV. I don't know. Tell me about it. What do you think about it? Yeah. How do you look at this generation? This is your generation. It's true. Uh, well, first of all, like I said, Ganina, like Shemper, we're not here to like judge anyone, oh, yeah, or yeah, like yeah, we're yeah. not like here to condemn like anyone's lives. Like I say, people go through things in their own lives that um, we don't know about. So um, first of all, I'll say that. But um, like that, actually, the reason why—that's another reason why we, my brother and I do what we do. Even as young as elementary schools, um, I say we want to. We're, we're more of the into the preventative um, okay. measures. So, parang sayang lang when you're young. Um, people, are there are a lot of bad influences in the world telling you it's okay to do these things. It's it's okay to drink. It's okay to smoke. Um, even if it says drink responsibly, we're we're don't drink at all. Like there's no need for it. So we're we're just trying to tell people don't wait for the the moment where bad things can happen to you. So. Um, Shempre, if, yeah. and if you're in a call center, that means it doesn't mean everyone's bad in a call center. But um, people can always still change. So we're not we're not here to say it's over if you don't, if you already did things. But um, we're just trying to encourage people. You don't need all of those things. You can you can still have fun. You can still be cool. You can enjoy your life um, even without getting into those bad things. So mm. yeah, whoever is watching, you guys don't smoke. Yeah. No. no, never, yeah. Never, never tasted alcohol or wine? Never, never did alcohol, no drugs, no... no drugs? Yeah, no. You're not a bully or something? No, yeah. No. Because if you are, I'm going to bust you. <laughs> <laughs> of course, I yeah, understand. <laughs> and yeah, just to add, add to what my brother said real quick. Uh, we're, we're doing what we're doing. We're trying to say what we say, but not, not to, like, uh, you know, like my brother said, condemn anyone or and do, judge. like, a goody yeah. two shoe image yes. or whatever. We're, we're doing it because we love people. And uh, we want what's best for everyone. So, okay. uh, if you stay away from those things, if you, if you live a healthy lifestyle, okay. stay away from all the bad things that uh, can distract you or uh, bring you down. Then it's better for you, and it's better for everyone else. So we're just trying to uh, yeah, and real encourage quick, people. We're not trying to even say like we're perfect or anything too, because we make mistakes and we're we make mistakes every day. So, um, but we're just trying to like my brother said, and like I've been saying this whole time, we're just trying to encourage people. To just try to minimize yeah. those things, and uh, you'll be happier uh, if you don't do bad stuff. All so, right. yeah. Well, anyway, ngayong Sabado, bantay nyo ho sa bitag new generation, seven or eight to nine in the evening, Saturday. Your full episode ho to feature docu reality. It's about them. It's about the experts in the field of sociologies and talent managers and. Uh, well, psychologists, who they are and what made them who they are, and of course, people who know them, parents, stuff like that. Dapat mapanood nyo na. Ibahutong ginagawa ng bita. We're doing a docu reality. We're also shifting, doing some human interest type, not just kicking doors or, you know, you know busting uh, or whatever, or working with the law enforcement. Nag-iibaho ang bita. We're evolving. And this is the thing na pinakikita ho namin sa inyo. Sila ho yun, ano? As a matter of fact, I think that you guys are coming up with a movie. Is it something? Or is it a plan? Or is it being planned? Or what is that? Can yeah. You tell me about uh, it. Can you can, can you can, can you give me some kind? Or you don't want to talk about it? That too was early. that was pretty top secret. But now that oh. we're now we're here, All I right. think it was a good time for right. bring it out. All right. But uh, yeah, no. That's our plan is to, uh, God willing, we'll try to make make something. Yeah, make a <laughs> movie. All right. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, it's gonna be awesome. It's gonna be. Um, 
based on some good stuff. So right. I don't. Yeah, I don't. I think uh, mother and father over there want to keep it on the down low, but. Uh, yeah, it's going to be cool. And right. Sinai, it's going to be an inspiring film. And um, better for right now, we got the Beat Dag special on Saturday. Yeah, yeah that's, that's what it. you guys should watch on Saturday. <laughs> it's really cool. The, the team here was awesome. They, we had a great All time. Right. So, Well, good luck to you guys. Yeah, thank you. All right. yeah. <laughs> Mga boss, wag niyo kalimutan, uh, tomorrow, a uh, throwback Thursday. Uh, pinap pinapalabas ho namin yung mga palabas na hindi nyo pa napapanood. Neither yun ho mga travel naman the U.S. and some other countries or sa Pilipinas ho, mga classic if not recent ho yan. So throwback Thursday tomorrow. And uh, don't forget, balik ho tayo sa Friday. But, but sa Bitag ho, ha, tandaan nyo ho ha, sa Bitag New Generation. Ma ito ho yung mga palabas ho namin. Ano? Coming na ho to, yung Crime Desk which is at uh, 6 to 6.30. 6.30 to 7, 6.30 to 7 is, uh, you know, yung uh, bitag, uh, um, um, I'm sorry, uh, you know, U.S. Cops and then bitag, new generation on, on, a, on a Saturday. And then, um, alam nyo naman ho, every Monday to Friday, sa umaga ho, 8, ito ho, to 9, bitag, uh, new generation, and uh, yung kilos pronto, ano. Marami ho nagbigay ho ng mga comment nila kaya lang ako eh kung babasahin pa ho natin dito alam ho namin thank you so much ang mga comments ho ninyo no? and uh, again yung hang feature uh, ito ho yung episode ho namin ngayong Sabado sa Bitag uh, New Generation The Perkin Twins alamin ho yung mga bagay ho na base doon ho sa profiling ho ng mga sociologist ng sociologist talent manager andyan ho yung uh, Pati ho yung uh, psychologist, clinical psychologist, all about family, investigation tong ginawa ho namin, feature documentary ho to, no? kakaiba. So, tell your friends about it. Watch it on Saturday. Pag hindi nyo na panood, then watch it sa YouTube or sa aming, uh, eto ho eh, sa aming uh, uh, website. With that, kami ko nagpapaalam na ho sa inyo. Until Friday, kasi again, throwback Thursday ho tayo bukas. We'll see you on Friday. Adios.